All right, what's up, people? Um, I want to talk about very important settings in Hotkey Net to even make five minute multiboxing work. Now, you'll normally have them right uh, when you download my package because um, I do have a Hotkey Net um, settings file in that where things are um, generally right. Now, the first thing you're going to run into is you're going to try to run Hotkey Net and it's not going to be anywhere. It's not going to appear on your window. It's running, but it's nowhere to be found. That's because I run a 4K monitor. You might not be running a 4K monitor, and HotkeyNet is off the screen. So um, one of the first things people might do is, oh, I'm going to delete that settings file. But if you delete the settings file, then you're going to come up with the wrong settings, which is why I'm going to cover settings today. So the first thing we want to do is kill HotkeyNet, um, and we want to edit this file. All right, hockey net settings file. I want to delete this rectangle main window. That tells it where to put it. We're going to just put it in the default location. So you're going to save it. And you're going to try hockey net again. Now it's in the middle of your screen. That's its default location. Is the middle of any screen. Okay. Um, so if you have deleted your hockey net file, you're going to have an issue running 5-minute multiboxing because there are some setup things that you have to uh, take care of. First off, window name match in HockeyNet settings should be exact match. If you use a partial match, more than one window of your multiboxers might match up to a command and you'll get double and triple commands to that window and you don't want that. Uh, so. Uh, nothing else needs to change here on this window. Um, so now let's go to send mode um, connection settings. All right, connection settings. Normally, you don't have to change anything here. You're just a single computer. Um, if you're a multiple computer, you have to change some stuff here. So don't match this. This is my this is my server computer, and I connect up to multiple computers. So let's go to uh, send it mode settings. All right, this is the most important one. This is going to come checked. Clear modifiers before executing hotkey. If you don't uncheck that, your alt button, your control button, um, your shift button will all have to be hit every time you hit another button. You can't just hold the button down. And it's very important in five minute multiboxing that you just hold buttons down. Um, and you know maybe that was the reason why my no board wasn't working right the other day. Um, and of course my no board is off the edge of the edge of the screen, and I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go deal with that. Um, so I have had players um, have better luck by changing the uh, delays um, here. I think. Um, one of my players is changing these to both zero uh, because he was seeing uh, lag build up over time, Key keyboard response lag build up over time on his AMD processor. So um, you may want to experiment with that. For me, these work. Uh, so and th those are those are the only changes um, that I am recommending people make is the use exact window name and clear um, hotkey modifiers before um, before checking or sending whatever it, whatever it was. Let's look. Clear hotkey modifiers before executing hotkey. Yes, do not clear hotkey modifiers before executing hotkey. That's it. If you don't do those things, five minute multiboxing isn't going to work very well for you.